Hey guys, today I just quickly wanted to talk about uh, some breathing exercises, very basic, simple ones that I like to do. They give me a lot of energy and sort of reset my focus. I'll do these whenever I'm starting to feel like my energy is a little bit stagnated. So these two I'm gonna start out with are called the not, uh, nostril breath and the diaphragm breath. You're just breathing deep into your diaphragm and it's essentially breathing all the way down into your spine if you want to imagine it that way. Taking a large deep breath and you can just do that however many times it takes to get started uh, because you're basically relaxing your body, activating the parasympathetic nervous system um, and getting yourself out of fight or flight mode um, so that it's moving from a state of shallow breathing within the chest which is when you're in that stressed state and then moving into the state of relaxation where you can access much more creativity um, and deeper states of thinking. It's also This also ties in with the brainwave states as I talk about on this channel a lot. We have beta, which is the uh, state of consciousness when we're in a typical waking state of consciousness. Um, and then there's alpha, which is when you're in a pretty relaxed state then you move down a bit deeper into the theta state of consciousness, which is more creative thinking, problem, problem solving, and dream states. And then there's the delta, which is when you are in deep sleep. Um, those are some really interesting things to look into on, on your own. So, nostril breathing. The way I like to do this is I actually like to use opposite hand to do opposite nostril. So I have my right hand, I'm gonna plug the right nostril, the left nostril. The reason I like to do that is because I'm breathing in with the right nostril and using my right hand. It's just to, to remind me that my right hand is connected to my left hemisphere and my left hand is connected to my right hemisphere. Um, and that's the only reason I like doing that. It's just something I like to do because um, it's a reminder that we're activating both hemispheres of our brain when we do the nostril breath. Whole brain thinking and brain synchronization is something that I'm very interested in, and it's something that we try to achieve with the binaural beats that we use on this channel. So understanding how this exercise is really activating both parts of your brain can just help you get into it more because you know what's really going on uh, physiologically. <sighs> I, I'll usually do cycles of nine for each nostril. So I'll start with the right nostril, breathing in with that one, and then breathing out, you plug, you switch them, and then you breathe out. So breathe in with the right, and then switch, breathe out. That's one rep, I'll do that nine times. And then I'll switch hands, and then breathe in with the left nostril, right? And if we're using our left hand, going across and breathing in with the left nostril, I'm activating my right brain, right? You're not necessarily activating one side of the brain when you do that. I'm just, I just like to be aware of that when I do it because you're really activating both sides of the brain as you breathe in and out and as you switch every time you do one rep of it. But again, I think it's important to be aware of that and I actually do significantly feel more logical and emotional after this, or logically and emotionally balanced after doing this exercise. So it's just a fun little thing I do. Um, one more thing that I will sometimes incorporate into this exercise is called the microcosmic orbit and that is something that I learned from Montak Chia. I'll plug some of his links in this video description, but the microcosmic orbit is all about circulating your chi energy throughout the body. There's a front channel and a back channel that are connected in our bodies. And if we're aware of that and we know how to use it, we can essentially build up our chi energy and um, start to use it to oh <laughs> to heal our organs. Um, and it actually, it can do more than heal, it can very much empower our organs and our body.
Um, I'm not going to talk about it in this video. I'll do another video on the microcosmic orbit. But I am going to plug some links so you guys can do some, some of your own research on that if you're interested. All right, thanks for watching.